Alright, today I'm going to be trying out some teams that have been requested by my viewers. So, first I have a couple fun teams here trying out Dark Rebirth with High Fiber. Um, I'm using Pierre. He seems like a little bit better than the, the, the I think, Little Leftovers or Filthling. I think it's the Little Leftovers. Uh, yeah, Little Leftovers is the other pet because I'm using uh, magic pets, so I don't want to do magic pets on this team, and then it's just kind of nice to be able to throw out a a, uh, a bleed. Unfortunately, this this uh, bug sometimes happens. I actually disconnected in my last attempt, um, and so now I'm forced to start with my infested bear cup, which I'm not happy about. Uh, obviously, I would have started with probably Pierre or the Phoenix Hatchling. But it's okay. I'll just throw it him uh, out of stun in case he goes for a supercharge. He did. I mean, not a supercharge, but a focus chi. And now, who do I want to take that? Because he's still going to do that setup. I just basically stalled for a round. Um, I could take him on the infested bear cub, honestly. But the whole idea of the dark phoenix hatchling is to be able to be kind of a tank because I can throw up some uh, throw up Dark Rebirth, and then... Ooh, nice. You got to crit. Alrighty, so... Let's see what he's gonna do here. He's not going for Focus Chi. Um, I have to basically time this so that I die whenever... Okay, so I should die here. So I'm gonna go ahead... Not here, but like on the next round if he attacks, I should die. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw up my Dark Rebirth and hope that he attacks me. If he's smart, he's going to go for Focus Chi and not kill me. Yeah, he's, he totally just, just swapped, so uh, that's not going to work. Um, but I can just backline him and maybe use it later. Um, I'm inclined to bring in the Infested Bear Cub because Pierre obviously has a terrible matchup against Little Ragnaros. Um, I think I'll go ahead and... S yeah, is it worth stunning? I am faster, but I have a dot on me. I'm gonna go ahead and stun him. I'm go ahead and hit him with that maul. It's just some nice guaranteed damage. Actually, what I should have done... No, I don't have Dark Rebirth back on cooldown yet. What I should have done... Is, uh... What, what I wanted to do was stun and then be able to use Dark Rebirth. Alrighty, well at least uh, Flamethrower was gone by the time he was able to conflagrate, so that ended up being a pretty nice turn of events, honestly. And Darren Monk is going to come in. I'll just go ahead and do some damage. And another crit on, Fist of, on Fury of a Thousand Fists? Are you serious? He's gotten that to crit twice. Alrighty, well, I'm going to go ahead and maul. gonna go ahead and focus chi i think i can do this though the magic pet has a pretty weak matchup against p uh, against my team and what my hope is is that he's gonna go for a a uh, prowl and then i'm gonna be able to soak that with the dark phoenix hatchling so since i am assuming that's what he's gonna do i'm actually gonna bring in the phoenix hatchling so that when he's slower i can throw up dark rebirth and heal back to full. After that, I'm going to want to swap to Pierre and remove that debuff with high fiber. Now I basically was able to heal to full on my Phoenix Hatchling and I'm not taking that 20% damage uh, recoil. So um, now it's a little bit awkward because I just have a bleed and stench. I guess I could be running uh, the other ability, but I just don't want the, the counter synergy with uh, high fiber. Maybe it's still worth it. We'll see. Um, I think I'll go ahead and throw out that stench. If I can get him to miss a couple times while he's bleeding, that's pretty good. And yeah, there's another crit. Alrighty. Um, let's see here. Go ahead and just do another attack here. Yeah, I didn't really think he would go for a prowl. That wouldn't be very smart. Alrighty, now. 
We're the same speed, so if he goes first and gets a coin toss, actually, here's an interesting thing I'm wondering is, do I, can I remove my mechanical racial debuff? That is a, that is technically a debuff, I guess. Let's try it for fun. Nah, it doesn't work. Okay. Well, I'm glad I know that. Um, and he missed anyways. I'm going to probably be able to take this one home. I win the coin toss there. See if I can win one more coin toss. Yeah, that's GG. So even though he got those lucky crits with his uh, with his Pandaren Monk, I got better RNG. Oh, it's not over yet. If he gets a stun here, it is over. Um, it is going to be GG his favor. But he didn't. So he could have still pulled off a win, but not quite. So I did have very good RNG, even though. Um, I got crit by those things. They really weren't that important. It was um, kind of just a coincidence that they crit on his big nuke ability. And it could have been worse. He didn't get any stuns. He had a couple misses under stench, and things went pretty well. So I'm going to try this team now. Um, this time I will go ahead and try to heat up. Um, I don't like the, syner the counter synergy of high fiber with heat up because you will... Um, you will remove heat up from yourself if you have it applied, so. Mm, what you're gonna do, Pierre's very low tier two, if not a tier three pet, but it's a fun idea that uh, Michael Leo suggested for me, so I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna give it a couple tries, and so far, hey, look, it's undefeated. Look at this, look at this tier one team right here. <laughs> but, um, obviously not. But it's a, it's a fun idea that can catch people by surprise. Um, most players are going to see that Dark Rebirth and not kill you because, well, the dust don't kill you and you don't heal the full. But if you're faster than them, then you can kind of play a trick, get that heal off, uh, that 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 um, buff on you, that that Dark Rebirth buff on you before they hit, kill you, and then you come back to life. So definitely still a tricky move to pull off. Um, I was suggested that I use it with a Dazzling Dance user to buff my speed, but that's just so much counter synergy, I, I couldn't bring myself to do that. Um, running high fiber with Dazzling Dance is such a bad idea because, you know, you go to the trouble of setting up your Dazzling Dance, swapping, bringing in your Nightmare Bell, doing some damage, putting up your, your buff, bringing in your Pierre, just to remove that dazzling dance like of course yes it's nice to remove the dark rebirth but you're removing that dazzling dance and so at that point it's like oh it's almost i don't know it might be worth it but to me it feels like what is the point of using dazzling dance on a team with high fiber because you're just going to remove it as part of your uh, your entire strategy so I'm not, i wasn't i don't know i maybe i could try that but i just don't feel like it would be worth it for the two rounds that it takes to basically buff your speed i'd rather just either be slower or hope that i'm or hope that i'm faster you know and occasionally people will still kill you while you have dark rebirth up um maybe maybe they'll be locked into a stampede or a dreadful breath or they'll just won't pay attention and they'll be going through their rotation and uh, you can take advantage of that, so. Alrighty, so we're seeing this guy. I have disconnected th two or three times tonight trying to play against him, so either it's coincidence or something's going on that I don't know about. <laughs> but it's very frustrating. I'm gonna go ahead and throw up a heat up because I'm kind of predicting he'll go for that decoy right off the bat. He did. So now when he attacks me, he's gonna take that recoil damage. gonna go ahead and start breaking through that decoy it's probably gonna swap here no um that would be and that would be a bad choice while I have heat up um attacking me again is a worse choice though so you know there's that um can I go ahead and bring in a curious wolver pup a maul will kill him if he stays in And he did swap. All right. 
Um, but he has a bleed on him. He took all that damage from Heat Up, so that was definitely a bit of a misplay. Now this trap could totally mess up his strategy. We're going to see um, how things go. Having this magic pet is going to be really, really helpful. <laughs> There's that trap. It could have gone off at a better time, but it's still a pretty great time for it to go off. Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and put out this darkness. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stay in on my nightmare bell. And I missed. Bummer. Uh, let's try again. There we go. Nice high-end hit. Um, going for that supercharge against a magic pet. Questionable decisions have been made by my opponent. Magic Racial's kicking in. And if this doesn't miss, I should... Well, let's look. Let's give you another shot. Let's give you another shot, um, Nightmare Bell. Alrighty. Um, hmm, I don't really like this matchup, so I am going to swap into Pierre. Uh, I'll go ahead and go for a heat up. If he stays in again, then I will be able to kill him through decoy, actually. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and break decoy, and then he's going to kill himself um, if he attacks here. So He might kill me too, but that's okay. Nice. I'm still alive. A bit slow. So if he throws up a power ball, I'm not going to be very useful. But Um, at this point, I, I just don't have enough health where I think I can swap in and throw up a high fiber, so I am just going to throw up a bleed instead. Um, there's that that wind up. That's an odd choice. Maybe, I don't know, he still should have used Toxic Smoke even if he does have that, but maybe he doesn't want to give away that's what he has. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and bring in the Curious Wolfar Pup. He has a bleed on him, so a Maul will hit him and hit him again after the uh, the racial, and it's going to kill him. So, I'm going to be able to activate this guy's racial here. And then one more punch will take him out. Sweet. Alrighty, so didn't really get to utilize the Dark Rebirth uh, high fiber strategy there, but that's okay. You gotta gotta do what you gotta do. And uh, this third team I'm gonna be trying out is uh, one suggested by uh, by Andre. I've tried it actually several times so far, and I haven't been able to get a win. I keep playing against uh, teams that really do well against it. Um, I probably could do a little better if I literally just, uh, focused on using my Orphan Fell bet, but I've been trying to utilize the synergy of the team, and, um, if I queue into these, uh, triple mech teams, I will do fantastic, but if I queue into an Emperor Crab, I really can't kill, kill an Emperor Crab, so, <laughs> fortunately, I am queuing into this guy. This is gonna be a pretty easy win. Um, no matter how well he plays, unfortunately, I just have too strong of a counter team. So uh, I can really start with whoever I want. The only thing I do have to worry about is I don't have any way to deal with this one shot. But I can still put out a lot of damage. So even if he does go for one shots, um, I should be able to get the win. The MPD obviously is is literally not even in even an issue in my mind because I have immolation on the imp and then the the uh, orphaned fell bat and if I just DC it I'm gonna be kinda pissed alright he DC'd this time <laughs> I'm thinking IDC because of him, whether it's because he has bad internet or something. 
Because I just, it seems like such an odd coincidence that I've disconnected against him so many times. But I don't even know how that works. Does, like, does that make sense? It doesn't really make sense to me, honestly. Alrighty, so I'll probably soak the first one shot on my undead. Um, huh. Let's go ahead and break that decoy here. There's that one shot, so I have to choose who to sacrifice. And like I said, I think it will be my undead. So, almost 2,000 damage coming at me. Oh, that's right, he has the health power. That doesn't quite one-shot my my health health pet. Fantastic, I forgot. Yeah, it does, it does about 1,900 damage on a power power. Sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and throw up a tail slap. Tail sweep, whatever it is. Then I'll probably... Mmm, it's a tough decision. Do I want to go for another one or do I want to go for Death and Decay? I want to go for Death and Decay. Okay. I'm going to go for the Orphan Felbat here. I'm going to go ahead and throw up a Black Claw. Fortunately, he doesn't have Wind Up available, so hopefully he's going to go for the one shot. And it's not going to happen because this is going to activate his racial and then the dots are going to remove his racial. Fantastic. So, he's gone. It's a lot of damage against a mechanical. Even in general, it's still about 500 damage every round of dots, so it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and throw up a fell Immolate. If he goes for a decoy, no problem. I'm going to remove it in one turn. Well, it's gone now because of, uh, huh? Oh, boo. It didn't go away. That's a bummer. Um, I think I still got this, though. He died too fast, and so my immolation and death of decay didn't hit the decoy. That sucks. But it's okay. I got this. I got this, no problem. I think. Go ahead and throw up another immolation or an immolate. Ooh, that crit that crit sealed the deal. Now that was a, that was a lot closer than I thought it would be. I kind of forgot the fact that I have no uh, nothing I can do against um, against the one shot. But I just have so much elemental damage, and I can eat right through his decoy. Alrighty, so there's that. That was pretty fun. Um, yeah, I mean, that team does well against mechs. I don't know how well. It just doesn't really have anything it can do against shell shields. So that's the real problem with it. Um, I mean, you do have Black Claw, but uh, so it requires a lot of setup to be able to do anything against a, uh, a shell shield user. And uh, sh uh, there's actually a, a, a shell armor pet crusher that I see so often on my meta So that that will shut down this team really really hard I'm pretty sure that was one or two of my losses is queuing to that guy because he does queue a lot with that same pet But yeah, this is a lot of fun. Um, I'm always open for more uh, team suggestions, so leave them in the comments if you Have any pets or teams or combinations that you'd like me to try but uh, until next time, thank you for watching.